Okay, so we are in our index.tsx page, which is our main page for Next.js. This one right here, right? And what we, are, what we want to do is we want to add some styles and effects and everything to the page. So first things first, let's just go ahead and actually remove all the styles from our application. And I'm going to, for the moment, I'm going to actually, let's just go ahead and see. I'm going to actually remove our app.tsx file as well because this one is a special file we're gonna get to that later on and there we go right so we just have let's just go ahead and remove these two pages as well because well they are just trash so here we are now we have just have a single page right here and actually we might need a server restart maybe because of that and let's see if we are ready to go and yes we are so now we have a very basic hello world with us no styles nothing at all if we just take a look at the source code as well we have some javascript and everything but when you're going to compile it you're going to see for production you're going to see that all this javascript is also removed right so what we really want to do is try out the jsx that is styled jsx in Next.js, which means CSS in JS. Now, personally speaking, I don't really like this very much, but I'm gonna still explain to you, but I won't really recommend as a person who has used React to go ahead and follow this because um, we are already mixing the HTML sort of thing, that is, you know, the JSX part with the logic in our React components. The least we can do is keep CSS separate in a separate files. And given that Next.js actually has first class support for that as well, I'm going to recommend not to do that. But anyway, let's just go ahead and start. So I'm going to say this is a simple div for us. And I'm just going to write a real style JSX tag right here which means that whatever I write inside this now is going to be our CSS for this particular component, right? So what I can say is I can just give it a class name of title and I can say title has color of red, right? Hit save and you can see that our title turns red. But this is special because if I go ahead and uh, I'm not really sure if I can just show it to you yeah maybe i can so let's just go ahead and create a function um let's say heading right and i just return h1 props dot heading right here and i'm gonna have props right here and uh, instead of this i'm gonna say heading um heading is heading well <laughs> a lot of heading right there but uh, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and move it right there oops I think I lost my uh, copy paste because of that but anyway that wasn't a lot of code anyway so h1 color red there we go so what I'm trying to show you here is that this is still the same but if I try to use h1 here now what you're gonna see is that it's black it's not red whereas we specifically told the h1 to be red here right so how does that work well you see whenever you're using these style jsx styles it's going to be component level styles right so next is going to make sure that whatever you write inside this is just limited in scope to your component does not matter if you're using classes or does not matter even if you're using um, you know direct style elements and how does it do that well you can obviously always go ahead and inspect this bad boy with the chrome inspector and you can see immediately that actually next.js is going to add a class to every element inside that particular component and instead of targeting h1 directly it's actually targeting h1.jsx and that id of that particular um, heading and then it's saying color red right so what happens with this one well obviously you might have guessed it does not have any class at all so it's just black just regular you can go ahead and make this global by saying global right here and if you do that and if you refresh now you're gonna see that we have um, a global h1 as the 
color, right? So what just next is what it just did is that now it's not really modifying our styles. It's just putting them as it is on the page. Well, this is all about, you know, style JSX for the most part. There could be a bunch of things as well. You can, um, for the most part, it is used by people who want to have variables with JavaScript inside CSS. So now you can have, um, you know, just just red. So you can say if math.random is greater than 0.5, then you want red. Otherwise, you want blue. And once you do that, you know, whenever you are refreshing it, you're either getting a red heading or a blue heading depending on how the math.random plays out right so that's that's the idea that you can go ahead and use javascript variables inside css but for the most part you never really need to do that at all because css support is in itself very good these days so personally speaking i won't really recommend anyone to use style jsx that is you know um, css inside javascript unless you want to use that and you have a legacy code base which uses it but if you are somebody new just go ahead and watch the next videos next few videos on how to actually implement same functionality that is component level um, module based resolution but using much better approach much cleaner approach in which you can keep your components separate so that would be all for this video i'm going to see you very soon in the next one